this second experiment is the uh, uh, laser reflector. Vacuum flashing. If the technician were in the temperature. We found that uh, getting them down uh, produced no significant problems. There is a phenomenon that happens at those temperatures called cracking. Gondolations which are induced in these coils travel through the line wire and pass it through the coils of an instrument of precisely similar construction at the distance station. Neutrinos are the lightest known particles in the universe. They were originally thought to be massless, but they do have mass, and the three neutrino flavors seem to be in superposition and change into each other, oscillating their mass values. This is uh, what has won the 2015 Nobel Prize in Physics. The fact that they do have mass was not predicted by the standard model of particle physics, which was one of the important indicators that the model is not complete. And this discovery also makes them interesting candidates to explain dark matter and dark energy. Neutrinos propagate at very close to the speed of light due to their tiny mass. And although they are very small, they carry huge amounts of energy. Their energies are so large that they are extremely interesting and explain the vast endeavors that are undertaken to detect them. Now, one of the biggest and most important of these neutrino observatories is the Ice Cube Observatory at the South Pole. It is a thousand times larger than the Super Cameo Kande and it is the successor or expansion of the previous Amanda Observatory at Amundsen Scott South Pole Station, which is the, at the very center of the South Pole or Antarctic continent. It consists of over 5,000 optical modules, namely photomultipliers, that would detect the radiation and these are deployed on 86 strings that are sent down or drilled down 2,400 meters into the ice of the Antarctic. This is the surface view. Here is the airstrip. Here is the Amundsen Scott South Pole Station and this is the Ice Cube Observatory and you can see each of the dots representing one of the strings that has been lowered down for hundreds, yes, thousands of meters into the ice. This is one of the optical sensors of photomultipliers as it is lowered down in one of the drilled holes.